everybody, how are you doing? I'm Sheree, host of Let's Talk About It, located in Venezuela, South Carolina. And today I am going to be touching a topic, a sensitive topic, and a very informative topic about um, this young man here named Rondell Stanton, who's been battling uh, a disorder for a few years now called SMA, which stands for Small Mesenteric, Mesenteric, right? That's right. Mesenteric artery. And so, Randall, um, I'd like you to tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been taking it easy. My name, I'm sorry, my name is Rondell Stan, and I've just been going through for, like she said, for a couple of years, and I've just been taking it easy and trying to do the right thing. Okay. And um, how old are you? 25. You're 25 years old. Okay. And about approximately how long have you been battling this, this disorder? It started, it always been all my life, but it got bad like my last year of high school, 04. So I didn't know what was the problem. I stayed in the hospital. They sent me, I was in the hospital in Bittersfield, and they didn't know what was going on. So they sent me to Chapel Hill, and I stayed there for a month. And the whole month, they didn't know what was going on. So the last week, they said I had a a small, I had a blockage in my small intestine, so they had to go in there and take out like 18 inches. So I had to deal with that for like a year, yeah. and then they kept on, every year up until now, they kept on coming back. I had a problem with scar tissue and uh, my and blockage, so that's how I was start. Blockage in your small intestine. Small intestine. Which what what happens when it blocks? Uh, everything I eat. If I even drink water, one never go through. It came right back up. If I even drink drink, I mean eat, it come right back up. So everything uh, uh eat came right back up. Oh, so basically, you couldn't hold it in. No, I couldn't hold it. No, I couldn't hold it in. Wow, wow. And um, when you went to the doctor, what are some of the the the, the uh steps they had to take in order to find out what exactly was causing the problem? Well, for one, they uh they thought I was constipated, so they did a lot of uh, try to get my bowels to move, did a lot of, uh, take a lot of medicine, a lot of animals, and uh, they did that step and come to find out it was not that. So, first they ran the lights down my throat, okay. and they went so far down there, and they didn't see that, so... They went up from the from the back end, and that's when they found out I had the blocks. Okay, okay. So explain to us what exactly is this that you have attached to you? Well, it, it's it's called a TPN. It's everything what my body needs to live, like potassium for one. Just everything what your body needs to make it to uh, to live. Okay, so, so basically the nutrients and yeah. the vitamins that we get from the foods food, that we get eat. Food, but I get food. Have, because yeah. you can't stomach wow. So everything I eat just come right back out into a bag and it don't go through come out of intestine is paralyzed. There's mm -hmm. no movement in them. So it just did. A little bit I do have, it just did. Wow, wow. Okay. So we hear um that at first Medicaid was not trying to. No, they was not taking it serious. They were. Cause you need a transplant. You need a transplant in order to get back normal. Okay. Get off all this TPN. So at first they had like they was not trying to help me. So I had um, put the news in it, and after I put the news in it, the whole attitude changed. Yeah. So now they're trying to help me with everything. Um, in a couple of days, I gotta get ready to go to Cleveland. Okay. And uh, we're going to do a lot of blood work tests and get ready for my dome. So I'm just, awesome. ready. I'm just ready for that. Thank awesome. God. Awesome. Just ready. Okay. And when exactly do you leave? Uh, Sunday the 2nd. The, well, April the 2nd. April the 2nd. April the 2nd. Sunday. April the 2nd he leaves to get his transplant. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. And um, after you get the transplant, um, did they say how long that you would need to uh, stay in the hospital? Yo, after I have the surgery, after I don't know how long the surgery gonna take, but after I have the surgery, they say I don't want to stay in the six months, and that's gonna be a little hard. But at least I know when I come back, I will be a better man. So it don't really matter how long yeah. I got to stay. I know so, that's um, right. So how was it like growing up? 
Well, it was kind of hard because I'm still young and a lot of my friends and family members come, like I do have my own house, and they come to my house and they tell me they're going to, they're going to do this and going to do that. And it's kind of hard for me because I'm like, I want to go and I can't go because I'm going to have to stay home and stay on this TPN. So it felt like I was missing that. But at the same time, I just thank God that I'm still living. Yeah. So take us into a day into the life of Randall. From the time uh, that you wake up to the time that you go to sleep. <laughs> well, uh, when I wake up, I get up, brush my teeth, take a wash off, look at TV all day, sleep, and ride around, try to ride around a little bit. Okay, now is this attached to you all day? All the time. Uh, I have a, a backpack. I just put it on my back, just like a book bag, and take it with me all the time. Okay, now is that a replacement for your food? Is it? Yeah. It's, do you it's, eat anything else? To, well, I eat some for the taste. Like, I say a little bit soft, mashed potatoes, little chips. But nothing major, like red lobster, <laughs> uh, golden corral, none of that. <laughs> none of that. Okay, okay. What about liquids? Just yeah, food. I don't drink no more water. Mm -hmm. I don't even drink yeah. so. On, uh, I drink a little bit of orange juice. Yeah, something that I have to stop drinking. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to stop drinking that. <laughs> but, okay. Um, and are you nervous? Yeah, a little nervous. But things going to be alright. I'm a little nervous now. Faith in God. I have got the faith in God. That's how I made and it this I know far everything with the faith. is going to be alright. Yeah. Oh, okay. And after you said that you sometimes would, you know, put this in a backpack and it's attached to do you, how often do you have to change that bag? Or is it Well, it's, it lasts until 16 hours. Like, I get on at 12 o'clock in the morning and won't get off till the next day, next morning at 4 o'clock. So, I'm on, like, even out to 16 hours. And, um, I've been on it so long, it don't even bother me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... Something I gotta deal with. It's and that noise that we hear. Just pumping it to me. It's, it's a little okay. mad, mad pump. It's pumping it to me. Oh, okay. Like, and it's going in. Is it it's an insertion into your um, No, in my chest. It's going to it. Like it's a uh, port. It's going to the biggest vein to your heart. Okay. And it going, it's called a power line. So it's going into that power line. Okay. Do you feel like any type of sensation or is it? I don't feel nothing. nothing. That's <laughs> I don't feel nothing. That's good. Okay. Well, I would like to thank you for sharing your story mm -hmm. with us. And we will definitely be following up on the six month review and seeing how you're doing and whatnot. Okay. And you be encouraged. I will. I will. Thank Keep you. on praying for me. Sure will. Mm -hmm. And anything else you'd like to say before we close? Mm -hmm. Nah, just. Who we'll know the prayer? Just keep on praying. And thank you. And count your blessings. Yeah. You know, one person is going through it, another person is going through something else ten times worse. <laughs> That's why and I think I made it this far because I get it in my head that I know I got a big problem, but somebody like they're going through better than what I'm going through. And uh, if I could do it, anybody could do it. Amen. Amen. And that is all for our show today. Thank you and have a good night everybody. Thank you.